Greetings, everyone. In this video, I will present all the new features of SpeechNote 4.8 release. SpeechNote is a Linux desktop application that lets you take, read, and translate notes in multiple languages. It uses speech to text, text to speech, and machine translation to do so. Text and voice processing take place entirely offline, locally on your computer, without using a network connection, so your privacy is always respected. SpeechNote 4.8 release comes with support for new TTS engines like Kokoro, Parler TTS, and F5 TTS. Also, global keyboard shortcuts and insert into active window is now supported under Wayland. As always, new version introduces many new models and user interface improvements. All right, let's get started. New Kokoro TTS engine. Kokoro is a compact but powerful open-source, multilingual TTS engine. Despite its modest size, it delivers impressive results even without GPU acceleration. Kokoro voices are enabled for English, Chinese, Japanese, Hindi, Italian, French, Spanish, and Portuguese. Hello, how are you doing today? New Parler TTS engine. Parler TTS can generate high-quality, natural-sounding speech in the style of a given speaker. Uniquely for Parler, the speaker's characteristics are defined by a text description prompt. To use Parler TT's models, you need to configure a text voice profile. This can be done in the Voice Profiles menu. Parler TTS primarily supports English, but experimental multilingual model for French, Spanish, Portuguese, Polish, German, Dutch, and Italian is also included. But sadly, the multilingual model provides rather poor quality and not entirely usable speech. Hello, how are you doing today? New F5 TTS engine. F5 TTS provides exceptional voice cloning capabilities. The currently enabled model works with English and Chinese languages. Similarly to Parler, F5 TTS works best with GPU acceleration because CPU-only processing can be very slow. Hello, how are you doing today? SAM TTS Engine SAM is a small speech synthesizer designed for the Commodore 64. It features a robotic voice that evokes a strong sense of nostalgia. Right now, SAM voice is available in English only. Hello, how are you doing today? Global keyboard shortcuts allow you to start listening and reading using keyboard even when the application is not active, for instance, when it is minimized or in the background. Until now, this capability was only available under X11. Now integration with XDG Desktop Portal has been added, making global keyboard shortcuts possible also under Wayland. For shortcuts to work, your desktop environment has to support global shortcuts interface on desktop portal service. When shortcuts are managed via XDG Desktop Portal, to configure key binding, use shortcuts configuration tools available in your desktop environment. Global keyboard shortcuts are supported on the latest TDE Plasma and GNOME desktops. Insert into active window under Wayland. Using global keyboard shortcuts or actions, you can directly insert the decoded text into any window which is currently in focus. This feature worked under X11 only, but now it is also supported under Wayland. To make it work, external YDO tool daemon must be installed and running. If you are using Flatpak, also make sure that the application has permission to access YDO tool daemon socket file. Futo Whisper STT models. New speech to text whisper models that are used in the Futo mobile keyboard have been added. New models are enabled for Whisper CPP engine. New CRISPR Whisper STT model for faster whisper engine. CRISPR Whisper is designed for fast, precise, and verbatim speech recognition with accurate word level timestamps. Unlike the original Whisper, which tends to omit disfluencies and follows more of a intended transcription style, 
CRISPR Whisper aims to transcribe every spoken word exactly as it is, including fillers, pauses, and stutter. CRISPR Whisper model is enabled only for English and German languages. Leider äh, müssen wir in diesen ähm, schweren Zeiten auch äh, unserem New KB Lab STT Whisper Models for Swedish. The National Library of Sweden has released fine-tuned STT models trained on its library collections. The models have significantly improved accuracy compared to regular Whisper models. Even with the tiny model, you can get decent accuracy. KB Lab is a national forskning infrastructure for digital humanura och Option to play an audible tone when starting and stopping listening. Use note as context option. Using an existing note as the initial context in decoding. This has the potential to improve transcription quality and reduce hallucination problem. If you observe a degradation in quality, turn off the use note as context option. Pause listening while processing option. This option can be useful when listening mode is always on. By default, listening continues even when a piece of audio data is being processed. Using this option, you can temporarily pause listening for the duration of processing. Normalize audio setting option. Use this option to enable disable audio volume normalization in TTSS. The volume is normalized independently for each sentence, which can lead to unstable volume levels in different sentences. Disable this option if you observe this problem. New pipe of voices for Dutch, Finnish, German and Luxembourgish. New RH voice voice for Spanish and updated Czech voice. New translator models. English to Chinese, English to Arabic, Arabic to English, English to Korean, English to Japanese. Also other translator models have been updated to the latest versions. Support for case sensitive matching and rules module. As a reminder, with rules, you can easily and flexibly correct errors in decoded text or correct mispronounced words. Command line option and DBus API for exporting synthesized speech to an audio file instead of playing it aloud. Use dash dash output file together with start reading clipboard or start reading text actions. Hello, how are you doing? Other changes include user interface fixes and updates to underlying libraries, such as CUDA and Flatpak Runtime. Thanks to an amazing community members, SpeechNotes user interface has also been translated into Arabic, Catalan, Spanish, Turkish, and French Canadian languages. These are all the changes that came in the new version. If you want to find more details, check the change log inside an application or speech note project website on GitLab or GitHub. Thank you for using SpeechNote. That's all for now, and see you when the next version is released.